Okay, so let's take a look at how you can export your RavenDB database to dump file, right? So first thing, we will open terminal in admin mode, right? Uh, next thing would be to go to the directory where we have RavenDB installed, right? So let me go to that particular directory. Before that, I can just clear up. Right. Now if I can use the tab or simply use the arrow key to forward this, I will be able to go to this directory. Right. Now next thing would be to use run.ps1. Right. Just hit enter and it should start the service. Right. Once this service starts, it will open one browser instance where we have to select the certificate required for running RavenDB Studio. Right, so let's wait for it to start that part. Okay, so server so started listening to requests. In the background, you can see. Edge browser started along with the pop-up of this authentication. Select your certificate and see. Okay, now you should open up the RavenDB Studio, right? Now here on the left hand side you have options like cluster dashboard, server, managed server and databases, right? So I have one of the node active one cluster right so we can click on databases now here you can see two databases are here both of them are offline right you have to manually turn them into online before that we can simply select the one of the databases right now let's say if i choose the north wind one you can see all the documents and collection from each of those documents on the left right now here there is a tab called tasks right so click on that and it will show you a few options backups ongoing tasks import data export database so considering we want to export the raven db into its dump file will be clicking on export database now here you can see export your database to a dot db dump file right so destination file name is dump of northwind so here you have the date right 4th of january and then 224 pm right so that's the format they are using now here you have two columns one specifying the documents and extensions uh, one include documents attachment counters time series and revisions right and then you have option at the end include conflicts right so these are some of the options that you can see and there is also cluster entities right where they show include index identities compare exchange subscription and configuration ongoing task right so you pick what is required for you then there is also encryption option so if you have community edition then you won't be able to turn this on even if you do this at the end it will ask you that this is specific for premium version so basically it will ask you to download the encryption key or this QR code all right so next time when you import this particular file this encryption will be required okay then there are advanced options right so let's say you want to export all connections which is selected by default then you have transform script if you select this 
will see that transform scripts are returned in JavaScript and you can use that. Then there is customized configuration and ongoing task option. So that's another thing. Apart from that, you also have export command options like PowerShell, CMD and Bash. Right? So three different you can choose from and the commands will vary. In CMD you will find curl.exe. In Bash you will also have curl option. In PowerShell which is default you will have curl.exe but the path and another conflict script differently will be called and basically you will just copy this into clipboard if you want to use it right now you can close the advanced option right then there is also encryption which I will disable if you want to you can enable if you are on cloud or some other premium version but apart from that I don't think it will help with community edition unless you have license for using the encryption right so in case of going through this option make sure to download the encryption key or you can print it out right also check the I have saved the encryption key otherwise it will pop that message up right so let's disable this now you can see we have our name of dump file you can export this and here you can see the progress of that file here it will show you the status for database records one read documents thousand documents revisions five thousand time series fifty five thousand five hundred eighty one you have attachment counters as well then you have index compare exchange etc right on the right in your browser you will also find that it has downloaded the file so I will just copy this and put to desktop so that we can view through any other application right so right now coming back to database export option you will notice that there are no actions skipped or no error which is what you need when you are exporting your database right because if there are any errors or any skips which will affect that dump file let's close this and come back to dump of northwind so let's see if i can open this right so if i open with code which is vs code let's see if that would work because I assume it would have some code being called for specific set of files so if not it will tell you that it is either binary or unsupported text encoding and so you can either open anyway so as you can see it will be just things that we can't read so basically it's a binary file so I'm reading it for the sake of it because I want to know what goes behind this dump file right so make sure that if you do such experiments don't open it and make this file format default for your text reader because it is binary file now coming to our Raven studio few options that we didn't include were one artificial documents and analyzers so artificial documents are often uh, storing some of the live changes within your documents and they contain the revisions so including them would only increase the size of your raven db dump file right so you should always disable it by default and in fact studio will recommend that too right there is also analyzers so unless you are dealing with cluster configurations you won't be touching this either 
right so these two things keep in mind and also for advanced options just use export all collections and if you are into devops team or team that is managing the Raven db you won't be using the export options through command line as is so using the studio option for export database is not better so you can just use that right and apart from that uh, one more thing i shown you not to open the file into text editor as well because it's binary and won't be readable through text editor right so get the idea how to export your Raven db database to Raven dump file